Thanks for checking out my very quick comparison of TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. Today I'm going to break down the main reasons why you might prefer one tool over the other, ensuring you have all the details needed to select the best fit for your YouTube channel's goals. Stick around till the end where I'll share which tool I personally believe is the superior choice for optimizing your video content. Let's get started with TubeBuddy first. What's great about TubeBuddy is that you can always try them out for free. I will leave the link in the description in case you want to check them out. First off, let's talk about their split testing feature. By far, one of their most fantastic features in my opinion that they have. This feature allows you to experiment with different video elements. Whether it's your titles or thumbnails, you can test multiple variations to see what resonates best with your audience, ultimately helping you optimize your video's performance. In fact, this is probably one of the best ways to get more views. Simply go in, add another thumbnail, and see which one is going to get the best results overall. Now here's just a very quick example of a split test that I did a while back, okay? So as you can see here, the difference in the click-through rates are astronomical. While it's not a ton of views, this is something that can really help extend your views over time if you're doing this on videos that are already performing well. You're gonna notice here that the click-through rate is 22.8% versus 9.52. While this is the variation, there's going to be many times where it's going to be flip-flopped where you create one that's maybe only a 9% click-through rate and then it goes all the way up to 22%. This is the type of stuff where it's micro-actions that can really help you build up your views. Now something I do want to say is that YouTube now does have their own split testing feature inside of YouTube itself, but when it comes to that one, that's going to be optimized based upon the amount of time someone watches after clicking on a thumbnail as opposed to getting a click-through rate, which I think TubeBuddy does so much better. So it's not time to say, okay, we don't need this anymore. I will say that their split testing feature is much better than what YouTube has to offer at the time or until that changes. Now I'm sure you can tell how much I like the split testing feature that TubeBuddy has to offer, but another big reason why you might want to use them is that they're price friendly. As you can see here, TubeBuddy Pro is only going to be $7.50 per month, and if you want to pay yearly, you can get a 50% discount, which comes out to $3.75 per month. Plus, if you want to upgrade, you can use the coupon code Marketing Island to save even more money. So, so if you're looking for something that's a little bit better on the price side, TubeBuddy might just be for you as well. Now switching over to vidIQ. Very similar to TubeBuddy, you can also sign up for free with them as well. I will leave the link down below in the description for that. Now one of the first things to highlight is their keyword research aspect. This tool goes deep, giving you insights on which keywords can drive more traffic to your videos. It's a powerhouse for enhancing your SEO efforts and ensuring your content gets the visibility it deserves. And here's just a very quick overview of their keyword section after typing in vidIQ. You can get the search volume, the competition. It also brings up a ton of related keywords, questions, and matching keywords that you can click through and find even more keywords to use in order to create your next video. And since I'm in vidIQ, another great feature here is going to be outliers. This unique aspect of vidIQ helps you identify videos that are outliers on other channels that are performing exceptionally well unexpectedly. So just as an example, I would type in Canva here, and what you can do is filter by subscribers, views, the outlier score. And in my opinion, I always think it's a good idea to maybe lower this or at least search for maybe some channels that have lower amount of subscribers compared to you and click on apply. And just like that, there are all these videos that you can go about and use for ideas when creating your next one. Because as you can see, this has been around for a year and it gets 2.1 views per hour. Two years, this gets five views per hour, six months, 4.6 views per hour. These are great ways to find some great keyword and video ideas very quickly and easily too. And last but not least, my absolute favorite feature is going to be the ability to find trending keywords. So staying ahead of trends is crucial in the dynamic environment of YouTube, and vidIQ makes it easier by showcasing some of the best videos for any YouTube channel. Here's an example right here where I can go in, click on the three dots, and do view trending videos. And just like that, we have some of the best videos that are currently still getting views. If you look at this, this was three years ago and it averages 8.6 views per hour. That's evergreen traffic right there. So when you create a video similar to that, that means if you're ranking and doing things well, you can get many more views as opposed to just getting a rush of them and of course having it stop. You can do this by going through any channel that's similar to yours to get plenty of ideas on creating content that's going to bring you a ton of views month after month and year after year, just like this one. So to sum it up, both TubeBuddy and vidIQ offer compelling advantages that can significantly boost your YouTube strategy. TubeBuddy, in my opinion, shines with its practical split testing and cost-effective pricing, especially with the added discount. 
On the other hand, vidIQ's strengths in keyword research, recognizing outliers, and keeping you up to date with trending keywords makes it a robust tool for content creators looking to grow their channel. Personally, if I had to choose one, I would go with vidIQ, which is what I currently do. The depth of their keyword research combined with the ability to spot high-performing outliers and keep a pulse on those trending videos gives it a very big edge, making it my preferred tool for maximizing YouTube success. Once again, I will leave a link down below for them in the description where you can sign up for free and try them yourselves. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison of vidIQ versus TubeBuddy. As with a lot of my comparisons, I don't go super in depth simply for the fact that I already have reviews and tutorial videos for these specific tools. I will leave those deeper into the description should you wanna see even more how they work and of course how they can benefit you when it comes to increasing your YouTube views and subscribers. My name is James, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you got some value out of this when it comes to choosing the best YouTube tool for your YouTube channel.